jumped out of that chair. Take a look at satellite radar where we've got uh, clear skies all the way through the northwest and it's pretty rare that we see this shot of Washington, Oregon, Northern California, Nevada, Idaho all dry to start off our Thursday afternoon. Just a couple clouds that are building. Now the thing is, as the afternoon comes around, we're going to warm up a bit. We'll get to the mid 60s or so, but we are going to see those clouds fill the sky as the day goes on. It's setting the stage for this next round of showers and for this cold front. What this cold front is going to bring with it is a little bit of rain, especially around Idaho, some widespread wind showers and or wind uh, speeds, uh, breezy winds and uh, cooler temperatures headed into next week. So here's Here's what we got as far as tomorrow afternoon goes. 1 p.m. We start to see a couple of those gusts pick up just around the southern portion of Washington, but those become pretty widespread by your evening. From about 6 p.m. onward, we're going to see gusts in the 30 mile per hour range uh, just on the trailing end of this system. We're also going to see a little bit of rain come in tomorrow morning. So clouds begin. They fill the sky by this evening. You can see how Clouds are going to be pretty dense all the way around the northwest and then going into about 7:30 a.m. in time for that morning commute. We're going to see a couple showers carry on from the international border down south, so they're going to slowly move down through North Idaho and maybe through Spokane. Otherwise, maybe just moving right behind Spokane filling North Idaho and Western Montana by the time we get to your afternoon. So there's a good chance that there will be a couple afternoon showers. Those are going to all progressively clear out by the time we get to Friday evening, just around 8 p.m., making way for a great Friday night, but doesn't last for too long. By the time we get to Saturday, just around noon, we start to see a couple more showers develop around North Idaho. The thing is, these don't look to be affecting Eastern Washington or Central Washington quite that much. Here's our future rainfall as of the next seven days, really predominantly over the next two days. Uh, we've got the highest shower totals, highest rain totals coming in along the Idaho Montana border. A couple of those totals coming in at three tenths of an inch around Sandpoint and St. Mary's. Otherwise, the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area maybe, maybe going to pick up on a tenth of an inch. That doesn't mean much overall, especially since as you head towards central Washington, we're not looking at any rain totals coming in. If they do come in, they'll come in at maybe a couple one one hundredths of an inch. Uh, so pretty light as far as that round of showers, but we're still listing it on here as Friday AM showers. Temperature still going to remain in the 60s. Cool down progressively as the weekend comes around. So we're going to say goodbye to those 60 degree temperatures that we enjoy. We're going to move back down to the 50s, which is below average. But the good news is that those showers are not likely to carry on into the weekend for too long. We'll see a couple showers Saturday morning and afternoon if you're in North Idaho. But aside from that, expect partly cloudy skies for your weekend carrying on into next week. It's just we're going to have to deal with a couple cooler temperatures.